welcome back. Merry Christmas if I don't see you beforehand and a happy new year and I will see you early 2023. Now we do and we are big announcement in 2023. We're going to be having mid-months and I may actually add more. So if you're not a VIP member of YouTube and membership, the link is directly below and you will be getting your January by mid-month. You'll get your January update um, for then. Let's get into your details. Now, what I see coming through for you psychically, it's it's almost like I, I, I feel lady luck around you. I don't know why I'm getting this, but I really feel a very strong frequency of lady luck. Because some of you, I do feel your confidence is really going to be picking up and I do feel you're a very different version of yourself. And if something is feeling it's meshing, you're really going to move hell and high water for it. If it's not, you're going to drop it. Um, because I do feel there's big conversations and revelations coming. I also feel particularly where it does come to your wellness, you may need to look after a little bit more moving into 2023. But I feel ultimately you, you're starting to um, have this level up energy where you're feeling very comfortable in your own skin, very much to the point you know what you want out of your life and you're really challenging some of those fair base frequencies and sticking up for yourselves, which is beautiful to see. I do feel there's a major conversation coming about and there could be some major revelations. Um, I, I feel that whatever conflict you were having in November, you're moving beyond it and things are going to pick up very quickly. And I, I do feel ultimately it's probably one of those months where you get everything done in the first two to three weeks and then sit back and ride that storm out because there could be some confusion and crosswise. And the second part of the month really is better left for fluid decision making. That can be, do I want to go to a party? Um, you know, do you want to catch up and go to the movies? It's, it's more that sort of energy than, okay, I'll be there at X time, especially because Mercury is going retrograde. But there's a lot, a lot that's going to pull you. And I feel your daily routine is going to be, <laughs> I, I could say up shit creek without a pedal, but it feels more everyone's going to want a piece of you. So you're communicating, you're trying to tie up loose ends. I'm seeing a lot of paperwork and I'm seeing a big decision, especially relating to career. But you're no longer cheating yourself out of happiness. So in the past, I, I feel some of you were like, no, this is really fitting for me. This is really where I want to go. This is how I feel. But I feel now you're very decisive. I feel you're going to know what is correct for you. You're going to know what is working for you. There could be a little bit of a hold up, and I don't know why I get that, but some judgment of the past is back in review. And I do feel this is in relation to all areas of your life with your inner connections, your romantic connections, and especially for those of you that are single, it could be that you do move into a relationship, especially with blasts from the past coming back. But I really get this notion that ultimately your love zone and your career zone it's really up for a big transformation. I feel you're really going to be diving deep and thinking about where the stagnation is in your life and whether you need to wait for a better time with something. But I feel this is, some of you are privy to some information of why there is stagnancy in a particular area of your life and you, you're willing to make the sacrifice for the bigger picture. I also feel you're sacrificing for the right reasons now. So it might be um, that the map is there, the plan is there, but the uncertainty is left and right. And I don't necessarily feel that it's that you're not moving forward, that these brand new chapters aren't happening. But I do feel for those of you that were on the fence relating to love and big decisions being made this month, moving into 2023. Um, oh, for some of you, I don't know why I get this. There could be some shady behavior on the work front and I don't feel it's coming from you, Virgo. There might be somebody who is a bit underhanded. There might be somebody that gets a position that you wanted and you may be reviewing whether that even sits right with you. For some of you, it could merely be um, very separately. They're showing me that it could be that you're really, in, you know, in dire need of a holiday at this point and you're trying to, Cross your T's and dot your I's to get things done. Something particularly could make you angry. Let's have a look at what this is. Uh, 
I also say with a question mark, question mark keeps coming up this month, I don't know why. Um, with a question mark, what I'm saying is if there was a circumstance, there's a lot of people who are jealous of you, FYI, watch yourself. <laughs> uh, make sure there's no evil eye, okay, because somebody is really jealous of you. Somebody feels almost insecure. Now, this could be a loving relationship, but I'm feeling it's more maybe a co-worker, somebody to that degree. But there are people who are quite envious of what you've achieved in your life and who you are. Um, pay it none because I feel ultimately you're going to be fine. If somebody's trying to start conflict with you, this really isn't the best time to deal with anything in an aggressive manner. And that can be documentation, litigation. It's really not the right time for that because it won't turn out according to plan. But what I'm seeing through my guides is if somebody's trying to start drama with you, just back off and let it cool down because there's a bit of jealousy and projection. But they're going to have to resolve that on their side of the fence. And that's not a you issue. That's a them issue. I, I do feel... For some of you, it could be that they're trying to um, get you in trouble. They're trying to actually um, take your seat. But what they're showing me is for those of you that that message directly applies, you're actually moving to calmer waters. You're moving to better waters. Some of you might be looking at a new routine. Some of you also could be having wellness subjects coming up. If it's delaying, trust the process because I feel it's more conducive um, so trust the process because they're saying it's all going to be fine. Okay. There could be a circumstance going on with your side of the family, love interest side of the family. I also feel with triggers, triggers potentially can come up between, and this has been coming through for everyone this month, I'm being shown between the 18th and the 25th. So if you pass the test around that time, well done. But there's an opportunity there for us to challenge our wounds and to come to this space where we trust. And I feel um, there's almost this emotional baggage that you're dumping and especially relating to maybe a feeling that you have, a circumstance relating to a romantic partnership. I feel it's going to that next level, but that's only going to be for those of you who are really committed to that. I do feel there can be a, a line drawn in the sand and there potentially can be some push-pull dynamic between what you're doing um, and other people are doing. But what I am saying is if you have the courage, this is going to go in your favour and this is both, both in the realm of employment and love. I feel it's going to really go in your favour. But I feel keep your cards close to your chest. If, if somebody is being, how do I put it, Trust your intuition of what you share with other people. Because I feel you're being protective of your life moving forward. I feel you're being very selective of who you tell things to. And I feel your instincts are serving you correctly because I feel there's a bit of a troll in the mix. Um, this person, like I said, they've got the green-eyed monster on you and they're a bit jealous. I'm telling you. Some of you love is going to move very quickly. Some of you, you may actually have a schedule that gets you to a point where both of you can't see each other, but things transform and shift very quick. Some of you could directly have a surprise visitor. This can be to heal a circumstance between the both of you. You could be moving towards them. They could be moving towards you. Yeah, there's definitely communication coming in, but it could come before you move. It could come before you get there. Some of you don't know how Christmas and New Year's is going to be and you have a concern about that. That can be due to your schedule or it might be due to a circumstance that's playing out, but I'm seeing a question mark over that. I definitely see changes when it comes to people coming to your home. Now, that change can be, um, it almost feels like there's going to be a party at your home. Hmm. I just keep getting a surprise visitor. Some of you are getting a surprise visitor. I feel this is going to be a happy thing. I don't think it's going to be a negative thing. I think it's going to be happy. 
also feel plans for your future are moving forward. And those of you that have children, I feel that they're actually moving through a shift as well at this point in time. Okay, some of you are being too hard on yourself to do with circumstance. I do feel you're being pulled in two directions. Really use your time effectively. This can be between you and a love interest. This can be between you and family. You don't want any dramas. So you're trying to be too many people. This could be putting a lot of pressure on you, especially in the first week of December 2022. This person doesn't feel ill of you. I also feel any crosswise that you have this month, you're going to be able to resolve them. I feel there's going to be a major plan and you might have some really great news to tell. This also can be a time when you get clarity in relation to the direction you're going moving into 2023. There may be a sense of resistance and nervousness. especially if the past hasn't been as great and it's going to take a little bit longer than you thought. Now, that can be because maybe one of your dreams is quite large and it's really going to show you what you are and what you're not committed to. Some of you, I'm really seeing a change in career. Some of you could have an offer of a lifetime and you're going to pause and you're going to reflect about it because it is going to change. Um, for some of you, it could be it changes the location. Hmm. I do see some of you are going to have a business idea and this business idea may take you the distance, but it can be home based. I feel this is um, some sense of clarity has come through to you. Some of you, it might be money's too tight to mention. So you're not quite sure if this is a smart move moving into it. And you're trying to set yourself up. I feel your instincts are going to be very large this month. And I feel you, my guides keep saying you really need to pay attention to your instincts because they're not going to guide you astray. There is a difference between your instincts and insecurities. Insecurities are based on previous events um, where you have triggers. And so it's a little bit like PTSD. It's like, mm, and intuition is this feels right, this feels off. And so trust your instincts with that because I do feel at an intuitive level, all the decisions you're going to make this month are going to be based on that. And you're going to have to have a very good relationship with your instincts because it is going to be very instinctually based. Definitely, definitely where you can secure your assets. I would say, you know, make sure you have security going on at the home, um, with your goods, I definitely feel there can be some crosswise with love. But those of you that are really firm, you're going to be able to talk through it and you will be able to resolve the situation, but there could be a sense of sacrifice required. If the sacrifice is all on your side and this person isn't working with you, I do feel some of you can make a major decision. We will have these videos coming out ahead of the crowd on the membership at you, you was readings on YouTube. Now, I am going to be releasing January's early, prior to January 2023. If you want to get those ahead of the crowd, you can go to the link directly below. We're live during the month, up until about mid-month, um, where we will be taking break, but the premieres will be on for the Twin Flame Collective. Come through and join us. Otherwise, if you want a private booking, grab it while you can. We do have a sale on and they are going quickly. Take care, beautifuls, and I'll see you through the month. Thank you.